good evening friends how are you um, today I'm going to show you how you can uh, use uh, redis in WordPress so in short I'm going to create a, a, a web server in DigitalOcean so it's Ubuntu 0.18.04 and then I will set up over there Apache PHP MySQL and WordPress I will then install uh, redis with uh, with that instance and then I will install a plugin to use redis caching for this project so redis is a um, memory based uh, uh, key value pair database where it stores all the key value data in the memory it is fast caching for server side uh, solution so if you wanted to have a very uh, fast or and very quick uh, data uh, then you can use redis to render that rather than using mysql because it is mysql is storing that in the file and redis is storing that in the ram so redis is very faster than mysql but it's expensive so um, i just want to show you how you can do that and after you have set up everything then you can install other themes and customize your themes and all those things so let's get started first i'm going to create a new <coughs> droplet in digital ocean so um, i keep everything as it is i choose singapore then one time password okay. let's create the droplet It might take two or three minutes so let me pause the video and come back to you again in five minutes okay my droplet is ready now so let me launch uh, my droplet so <clears throat> I'm going to access the droplet using this console panel so let's launch this console panel Login is root. I put the password here. Okay, I need to reset the password. So let me just reset this. Password. Sorry, I need to get the current password here first. Okay, I'm having some network issues, so just a moment. Let me refresh this again. Okay, I give the current Unix password. And then I need to reset the password. Okay, fine. Okay, then I need to create a new password. I just 
copy this from a random password generator okay strings Okay, great. So I have now logged into my um, digital ocean Ubuntu server. So first thing I'm going to do is make this full screen. And then I'm going to uh, set up a few things. First of all, I need to set up uh, Apache 2. Then I'm going to install PHP. PHP. Oh, sorry. Uh, install Apache 2. Yep. It is started. And then I'm going to install. Uh, something else um, what's happening here okay let me first update my apt get Then I'm going to try to install the Apache. Then I need to start the Apache. Then I'm going to install PHP. Okay, it is going to install PHP 7.2. Yes, that's correct.
okay then i'm going to install uh, php and mysql Now I'm going to install MySQL Server. It will install MySQL 5.7. That's correct. Okay, great. Then uh, what I'm going to do is uh, download a WordPress and uh, set up over there. But before that, I need to set up the MySQL secure installation. Oh, sorry, I need to start the MySQL service. Validate password plugin? No, not required at this moment. Hmm. It's getting a bit difficult to work with this console. Okay, let me connect pause this video and connect to uh, Putty. Okay, I have connected the instance via Putty, so let me try it again. I was I was trying my SQL. Secure installation. Okay, I just press the default values. I need to restart the server. I'm going to now go to uh, where www and download the WordPress latest version. I'm going to go to WordPress org.
copy the link and then download here. Okay, WordPress has been downloaded. Let's unzip it. It is unzipping. Okay, it has unzipped into this WordPress directory. I am going to just rename this WordPress directory to HTML and let's um, work with that. So, okay, let's go to uh, set the file permissions. Okay, that's great. Now I'm just going to see if I can browse the site. Okay, that's it. Then I'm going to uh, create the database. Create user. Let's say WP. Local host identified by let's put, put some password eleven April. Okay, then I need to. Uh, Give permissions to that user. Okay, I'm going to <coughs> grant this user uh, to all privileges, and I'm going to create a new schema. Okay, that's clear. Now we are going to uh, set up the WordPress. This now is WP password is. to check the password you in April local post let's try okay run the installation site title WordPress. Oh, username. I give it Redis.
okay now we have installed uh, this um, WordPress site now I'm going to install Redis server so let's log out from MySQL and install Redis It will install uh, thing Redis uh, Redis server. Then create. Then I need to start the start the Redis server. Then I need to go Redis CLI ping on. Set um, like test. We have a value. Okay. Then get test. Okay. So already server is working fine. We need to install a plugin. Let's install a plugin. There it is. Let's try to install now. <coughs> and activating the Redis plugin. And then go for settings. Okay. Here we can see that our Redis is running on localhost with port 6379. That's master of database 0, no password. Enable object cache. The cache is enabled. Let's visit the front end. And go to a post like April 22. Okay, I am going to scan the Redis. I'm going to see the Redis server. Scan zero. As you can see, we have uh, these items key value pairs are stored in the uh, redis database and we have post meta 3 post archive post tag site meta okay, let's go to a post details must have something uh, post terms post meta 3 Let's get uh, get WP post meta. This is the value of the data. So we can clearly see that our uh, WordPress data is now sa saving in this uh, Redis server. I'm going to exit here and clear this. We have this data connected client Redis drop in or okay, ping pong Redis extension not found. Oh, yeah, I need to install the Redis extension. Sorry about that. It's apt get install php Redis. Let's try to refresh now. Yeah, 
we have Redis extension 3.1.6, Redis client, PHP version, Redis version, multi site, no global prefix, blah blah blah. So we can see all those informations. So uh, what we did here in this tutorial is we uh, set up a new uh, droplet digital ocean, set up Apache 2, PHP, PHP, MySQL, and uh, WordPress, and then we install Redis server, then check with Redis CLI, the server is up and running, and then we installed a plugin called uh, Redis Object Cache, and we have turned that on, we installed PHP Redis extension, and every data that on our website is now object caching using Redis. Okay, there are some many alternatives of this extension. I am not going to encourage you to use this, but there are some other um, extensions you can use. But the concept is you have uh, to install the PHP Redis extension, you have to install the Redis server, and then you need to just connect over there. So that's it so far for today. I hope this will help you to get started with WordPress and Redis. Redis can help you to reduce your site load time very uh, efficiently and um, you can make your website very fast. Okay, so thank you for watching this video and have a nice day. Bye.